Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Here's an update what's going on at Yellowstone. You have that 6.6 uh, .6 earthquake that they had between Tonga and Fiji yesterday really stirred up the uh, caldera here at Yellowstone. Here's the seismic signature as it came in there at Yellowstone and I'll show you the spectrogram. And since this earthquake, yeah, the caldera here at um, the promontory has really acted up. This center display is the promontory, and I'm going to bring it down. This is just after midnight, and you'll notice a line of melt that is increasing. See it right there? Now, why that is so significant is because I've talked about the crack that's at the bottom of Yellowstone Lake, um, where eventually a dike intrusion of rhyolite will occur. And rhyolite is one of the most highly explosive types of magma because it holds in the gas bubbles. There was an earthquake right here. Let me go to the signature right there and that earthquake is not being reported it also shows up on the monitor at little west thumb but it does not show up at the monitor at the northern end of yellowstone lake of the promontory here's a spectrogram for west thumb and the center one is for the promontory and the one on the left that is at Yellowstone Lake. At Parker Peak, this is where that earthquake shows up. And there's another one that they're not reporting. This one here is from Fiji, Tongo region. And we got another earthquake. Um, that one is also not being reported. What I noticed on the thumbnails, this latest earthquake was on the eastern side of Yellowstone Lake. It shows at Blue Lakes, the Promontory. Flag Ranch, Wyoming. Let me bring that one up for you. Right there. And there's the other one I was talking about that they're not reporting. This is the one from Tonga and Fiji. And this one they're not reporting also. The monitor from Lake Butte. Again, this one right here is from Tonga. You can see the thickening of the lines as it shook up. This is the earthquake they're not reporting that I showed you. It's stronger here at Lake Butte. And this is the more recent one. And we got a small one in red. Remember, when they're in red, it's a signature. Sends a message to the geologist to investigate the earthquakes. But it's a weekend. And no one is working at the University of Utah. Here we have Moose Creek, Idaho. You can see a small earthquake there. Another one there. Another one there. And there. And there. This is the uh, Tonga earthquake. And there's that other one I was talking about. So this dike intrusion of the melt rising up continued. You can see it there and there. And I'll bring it down. It finally settled down a little bit. And when it settled down, then there was another earthquake right there. There's its signature at the promontory. And we'll go to the spectrogram right there. Here we got the borehole at the northern end of Yellowstone Lake. And I'll go to its signature. doesn't show up very well here. And we'll go to the signature there. Might be a little bit better to see here. This down at the bottom is the promontory. It's got a P wave on it. Let me bring this over so you can make it bigger. This here is West Thumb. And from the borehole at Yellowstone Lake. At 9.52 Universal Time. Here's another small earthquake that was at the promontory. And that was at the promontory more likely. Here we have West Thumb. It shows we got two earthquakes. 
you have the first one and then a second one that's really small. Here we have the borehole for Yellowstone Lake. Yeah, they both showed up really small. Going back, here's the earthquake from Tonga. This is the earthquake as it came in at the promontory. And we got a harmonic tremor. See how it stirred up the caldera? West Thumb. And Yellowstone Lake. Notice we got harmonic tremors afterwards. All right, 2017 Universal Time. This would have been yesterday. This is the earthquake. They're one of them. They're not reporting prior to that earthquake that they had in Tonga. It's got a small P wave on this one. From West Thumb, again that earthquake at 2015 that USGS is not reporting. They probably go home like at 5 o'clock. Yeah, it looks like actually two earthquakes there. And then the borehole for Yellowstone Lake, or from Yellowstone Lake. You can see during this time we had lots of earthquakes going on before the earthquake that came in um, from Tonga. This one that they're not reporting right here on three monitors. All right, at 1723, another earthquake, harmonic tremors. It's got a P wave on it. Now this one comes from the promontory. I pulled it because it's larger there. Here we got West Thumb. And I'll pull that down and we'll make it larger. And I'm gonna pull and I'm going to pull a larger section at Yellowstone Lake because there was more activity going on. One of the tilt meters for the Norris Geyser Basin Area Borehole 205. And it's currently rising again. The darker the color, the more recent the earthquakes. This is from the last seven days. And we'll go back down to the last 30 days. Remember, it's changing direction, the flow of the magma under the ground. Borehole 207, Madison River. Slightly going up, it looks like. Taking some breaths. And the earthquakes for the last seven days. Um, X is north, Y is east, is traveling east under the ground. Because it's got a cap of rhyolite, it can't break through to the crust of the earth. And so it's spreading out horizontally. And then we'll go back down to the last 30 days. You can see the trend. It's rising again. Took a breath here at the beginning of the month. And it's changed direction since the beginning of the month. Yellowstone Lake Borehole 208. Remember, this is at the northern edge of the fishing bridge. And it's still dropping. This is for the last seven days and then the last 30 days. See how around the first of the month it decided it's just going to go down, down, down. Need to watch for earthquakes there at Yellowstone Lake. Hopefully there's not going to be an indication that the upper roof of the magma chamber isn't showing any weaknesses for a coming collapse. We don't want that. And another borehole for Norris Geyser Basin, borehole 950. Yeah, it's rising a little bit. 
and the magma is trending north. Here we got for the last 30 days. And it's spreading out. See how it's spreading out? And that's because of that rhyolite cap. Here at Yellowstone Lake, more recently, you can see the line of melt up there. Let's see what we got. This is what it was showing when I pulled the files. So on the right is West Thumb. The center is the promontory. And on the left is the borehole for Yellowstone Lake. Yeah, we don't want to see stuff like this continuing. Let's take a look over here. We've got a couple marked in red. One there. Another one there. Another one there. One marked in red here. Now that's the one that um, I was talking about that they're not reporting. And do we have any? We got one in red over here. If I can find it. Right there. That's the Tonga earthquake. I don't see any marked in red for West Thumb. Looks like they zoomed into Old Faithful. You can see the dead trees over here. Or the ones that are dying. Let me pull this down. They zoomed in a little bit more. But that's all I have for you right now. Yeah, it's still recharging. If you have any thoughts or comments or questions, please put it down below. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Please stay safe. Oh, it's shaking a little bit there, isn't it? Probably another earthquake. Please stay safe and I'll talk to you later. God bless y'all. Bye.